Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Seville from Acorn Wealth, and this is your executive summary for the stock setups for the 18th of November, Wednesday trading. And uh, wow, what a awesome day today was um, to all of our new members. I hope this was a lovely little gift of um, to show what's uh, to come. Uh, obviously, we've been talking a lot about this uh, this uh, S and P 500 um, scenario of, of what's likely shaping up. Um, I just reiterate what I've been talking about here in all. Of our different training rooms, um, because uh, it's just um, the the evidence is stacked um, greatly in our favour uh, at this point in time. Anyway, so um, let's just go back to two thousand and eight, shall we? Let's have a look at the the crash of two thousand seven, two thousand eight, um, two thousand three, um, two thousand four, two thousand six. Market in an upward channel. Build, 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 build. Um, money flow stayed steady. Equal highs. It peaked in October 2006, and then the crash really began. The writing was on the wall as of April 2007. So those of you who think that the crash began in 08, it didn't it actually began um, right there on April 27th, 2007. And why? Because that spelt the end of the uptrend as it was broken and turned into one of the most effective bearish patterns that exists, uh, in a bull market, which is a head and shoulders. And of course, there we are, head and shoulder, dropped, and then another head and shoulder, dropped, created this level of support, and then it was broken. And then, of course, you can see the reversal when it rallied back up in 09, inverse head and shoulder. And there you go. Uh, I mean, so with all that chaos in the market, um, apparent chaos in the market, the market behaved like a well-disciplined child. It moved exactly where it was told to by the rules of technical analysis. Now, yes, fundamentals fueled the, um, the direction, but where the direction stopped, changed, and all of that all came from technicals, uh, and perfectly so. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is that when these head and shoulders built, it was um, um, it was predicated by this declining channel of um, of a uh, of uh, of money flow. The smart money was lo was offloading in droves uh, as we started to make these um, uh, these uh, lower lows. Broke negative, uh, and as you can see, just uh, completely fell apart. So. Um, um, and what you'll also notice is that, that as that head and shoulders um, uh, came to an end and rallied back, you'll actually spot the significant divergence the opposite way. So when the market recovered, we actually went above zero and, uh, and stayed above zero versus always being below. So um, that just goes to show how powerful uh, this can be. And then we went to making higher highs. Um, so fast forward. Um, we've now got an upward channel on the S&P 500 once more, 11, 2012, 13, 14, 15, and we've got three touches on the channel indicating a potential break. First touch, second touch, three touch. Rule of three says we're going to break down, and we do. We break down, and so far, looks like we're possibly now forming yet another head and shoulders, which would bring us to a target of 1600 on the S&P 500. And look at what we've got here. We once again have this downward um, uh, downward declining channel on the uh, money flow, m exactly as we had it before. So really, really interesting. So um, obviously, uh, that's why we've, we've still been looking at longs and shorts. We've got quite a few to, to uh, quickly cover over today. Um, and uh, We've got uh, most exciting of which, ADPT. Wow, beautiful. Um, I'll just go back to my normal charting. Uh, I, ho I hold the, the puts in this. Uh, I am holding currently the, uh, let's have a quick look. What am I holding? Well, we're holding the $55 February puts. Uh, priced at five sixty-five, when we bought them, they're up to uh, over twelve dollars now. When this uh, chart decides to uh, load up, 
There we are. So, um, yeah, beautiful drop. And um, this uh, just after after market today, after the market closed, there's uh, there was a legal uh, announcement from several law firms, three separate law firms, uh, that they're commencing um, uh, a uh, legal case for um, securities fraud. So um, this could be a beautiful continuation drop tomorrow. So uh, certainly with the uh, amount it's already dropped, I wouldn't, uh, I'd wanna take out um, maybe the original capital and let the rest run. Uh, but I'll be watching that very closely in the morning because I mean, sometimes with these legal announcements, uh, we can you can see drops uh, of uh, you know 10, 10, 20, 30, 40 percent more. Uh, considering the um, the huge drop already today, um, yeah. I mean, we'll, well, obviously our target's down around 42, so we'll just keep an eye on that. But that looks like it's got uh, more weakness to come. So, um, but uh, yeah, certainly want to at least take the original capital out and let the rest of it run. So, uh, um, all right, now let's move on. Let's go to so we WDC. Uh, I'll run through this quickly because there's a lot to uh, to cover. Um, WDC hit its target, and um, and uh, you can see this is also a, D, a just like ADPT, a, a, a head and shoulders. So uh, just starting to uh, to kind of sit there, waiting for the next break below 55. That could indicate um, the next big drop down to 45. So there's another 20% to be made uh, once and if we break that. So Yahoo, um, RDEN, Elizabeth Arden. Obviously, this was one of our longer-term uh, put option plays we'd suggested with the $12.50 puts. Um, those have had a beautiful drop now over these last few days. So uh, holders of these should be well on the money. And you can see this lovely um, depreciation of the money flow. And we've just broken the trend line today. So uh, should be more weakness to come. You can see that the candles were contracting as we approached support, as the selling pressure basically died down. But then as it broke through that support, you can see the candles now expanded, um, showing acceleration of buying pre selling pressure. Sorry. So um, this is awesome too. Uh, CCJ, just keep, I mean, it just goes to show the market's up, but um, or it was up yesterday, but you're not seeing any lift in these stocks. Uh, CCJ, Cameco, this also still on the decline since we uh, had alerted people to it up here at 14 bucks. Um, so really happy with CCJ. This is uh, 14.30, I think was the alert price, right into the moving averages and down. <laughs> so um, looking for this, this should continue. You can see it's respecting the moving averages perfectly. A money flow is uh, dropping. Um, nothing wrong with that. RKUS. Um, this was one of the newer alerts. Uh, this uh, tr will trigger the entry criteria as it broke through support the other day. Um, rallied up into the moving average yesterday on 1.39 million, down today on 1.36, but the original uh, original volume dropped 1.47. So just consolidating. Um, this doesn't this doesn't look like it's going anywhere, but down. But uh, so that's uh, I, I'm uh, quite favourable of that too. Uh, of course, uh, the uh, the one we shouldn't forget is UEC, the uranium energy stock. This is just kind of, this is a kind of they hit the entry criteria I was discussing of around a dollar twelve. Uh, I put a stop loss in this around eighty seven cents uh, is what I would look at on this one. And uh, but this looks like this is just kind of when I sit in my sit in the back pocket. Um, there is, I believe, May. Um, 27, uh, 2016 calls, $1 May 17 calls, uh, $1 <laughs> May 2017 calls, I believe are 25 cents. Um, I'd take a stab at some of those that I'll look at tomorrow. Um, but this is one I would just uh, also on the stock side of things has depreciated massively. Um, and uh, uh, this could just be one of those surprises that you wake up one day and it's back at $1.40, $1.60. Um, so uh, obviously this has come from much higher levels than that up at seven bucks so uh, uh, I, I think that there's um, there's potential on this to uh, to at least try and get up towards that two dollar mark um, so uh, worth a watch obviously we've started to see uh, that gradual increase um, and of the uh, of the money flow last time we saw this kind of thing uh, it rallied up to three bucks uh, earlier this year so um, uh, as a speculate a speculative play could be really interesting 
Um, also, as a speculative play, it was brought to my attention that there's been some significant insider buying on VTL. Now, I think this will probably pull back to $6 first. You can see that right now it's rolling over um, through these moving averages and the money flow is dropping. So just but keep this on your radar because they are meant to be having a, a hearing back from the FDA regarding one of their drugs that was uh, um, had problems before, which caused the drop from uh, $16 down to 3 Now, um, that they're expecting to hear something by December um, in terms of uh, um, an update on that based on changes they've made. Now, um, the insider who's been buying, the last time he bought stock in this company, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> last time he bought stock in this company was back here in June before the stock went from $13 to $34. So this insider seems to know what he's doing. Very significant money flow um, uh, divergence here uh, in the lead up to this. Uh, this is why we had originally alerted people to this as a trade at $4 up to around 8 which I think most people did extremely well on um, with the options uh, getting as high as 1,000% profit. So um, uh, anyway, so this is one we've kept on our radar, and um, obviously one of our students mentioned the insider buying tonight, and uh, this is this is something that I would certainly be keeping close attention to, because there could be a uh, a big announcement on that possibly. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see, and I, I, I'm just going to watch whether what happens with this 50-day moving average as it pulls back and maybe gain some uh, um, support there. If we see support there, I'd certainly be taking a chunk of it. Um, great. All right. So uh, now then, the other ones, uh, we've got a few more to comment on. ZFGN, rock and roll. Again, the, sh the, the puts have been plummeting, which is perfect. And the longs have been summiting. Um, <laughs> um, I didn't practice that, by the way. That was, uh, that was just... Um, one of my moments. Uh, anyway, so this is my my, my first criteria has already been hit just uh, just underneath the fourteen dollar target. But look at this beautiful. I mean, the market's falling away, um, and this has gone up four point two percent, five point six percent, five point zero nine percent. 9.6%. Uh, I mentioned this is back in the executive summary back here on November 4th, I believe it was, um, or even uh, Tuesday, November 3rd, back when it was uh, 10 bucks. It's at 14.49 now, um, and uh, I think this has got a good opportunity. Obviously, it's hit the first target, but uh, this should have a good opportunity of running up to the 22.3% Fibonacci. Uh, so I mentioned in the trading room my longer-term target on this is 17.87. So, um, but if you're in the stock, I mean, you picked up uh, probably in close to 40%. Yeah, you're laughing. So um, just to protect your capital, obviously, at your initial uh, uh, your initial entry point. Um, and um, we'll see how that, co that continues on. Uh, ECR, uh, I hold calls in this. This is right at the tipping point. I mean, this is a convergence triangle, which most would argue is uh, useless to trade. And it is if you don't have the use of the smart money, because we don't know which way it's going to break. But the smart money here is indicating a sharp break to the upside. So I wouldn't be surprised to wake up one morning and see this at four bucks. Um, and that's why I've got those uh, $2.50 calls, I think it is, um, that uh, the, 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 all of the... Um, uh, entries and the, the the month expirations all in the newsletter, uh, but this is uh, this is just poising I think for that break to occur. So it could be any day now, um, and uh, see so, uh, this would be something I, I would even be happy taking a speculative uh, punt on by buying the uh, some some December calls for I think there's some for twenty five cents apparently um, at that two dollar fifty level. So. Um, uh, yeah, this could be a, this could be a quick move, but um, again, one I'm watching very very closely. DVA, uh, one of the newer alerts as well, um, I think looks awesome. Um, I mean, uh, the big, there's insider selling on this. You can see this key support level, very important support level here, where the high frequency trading kicked in before. It was where also the big move here happened from before. Did not do anything for this this time round. Uh, it came down, it broke through, rallied up from beneath, and now this is like the perfect entry criteria for another big leg down. I think we could see a, a, a decent drop on this. So uh, again, if um, I, I'm going to look at entering this one tomorrow myself as I'm not already in it. Um, I'd certainly, I'd be happy to look at puts. I'd be looking at $70 puts um, and looking at, you know, kind of April, May expiration. And um, uh, uh, but as, as a stock trade too, um, this could this could easily get down uh, to a uh, to a minimum of 68 bucks. But um, um, here, have a look at uh, 
what else could be going on? There's your possible head and shoulders with a declining neckline. So just like ADPT being a healthcare stock as well, um, you know, have a look at that. That is a <laughs> that is a long way to fall, ladies and gentlemen. If we uh, if we if we uh, uh, continue that break, you can see that it's uh, it's broken down below but below its long term uh, uptrend. Uh, and I'm just drawing that crudely, but you can see that that's basically where it is. Um, it's uh, underneath that. It's got a declining neckline. This is exactly like what I just showed you on the S&P 500, but uh, much more pronounced. And so, um, you know, we could be looking at a, uh, uh, on this one, a longer term target of um, basically down to 58 bucks is what I would be looking at for a DVA. So that's a, um, uh, basically, a $15 drop from where we're currently at. So, um, uh, so yeah, that's 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 obviously worth keeping an eye on, and uh, I think that's ready for uh, for tomorrow. Uh, ANSS, another one of our alerts. Now, uh, I'm, a, I'm not looking at, um, all I'm trading now are the ones we've already found. Uh, there's a lot of work gone into finding uh, all these positions, and I think they're just of a, a really high caliber. So I'm, I'm quite happy just um, um, looking for entries and re-entries on a lot of these. So you won't see a lot of new stocks, but more so entries and exits of stocks we're already trading. Um, now, the ANSS, again, is a head and shoulders deal. Um, that's looking good. It rolled over over today under the moving averages. Um, LVS was another one we mentioned recently. This looks great as well. Um, so as you can see, a nice little balance between uh, a hedge of, of the longs and shorts. LVS looking like it's gonna easily get down to its uh, target down here around 40 bucks. Um, but uh, that'll be a wait and see. Money flow obviously uh, crossing below negatively. Um, and uh, last but not least, S-A-B-R, rock and roll. I like this one. It's got great, um, great money flow divergence. Upward channel, which is bearish. Um, so upward channel, which is bearish. Um, we've uh, broken down beneath that upward channel on S-A-B-R here. Okay. So um, looking good uh, because the money flow is going the absolute opposite way. Um, and that is divergence right there. So uh, I think this is perfectly positioned um, to, uh, to drop. Obviously, the confirmation will come once we clear this trend line. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, it may be worth waiting for a, a break of that trend line. And then if we get that, we should uh, be able to see at least probably a 20% or more drop. But this, is very, this looks very healthy um, for a short down the bottom, what we're seeing on the money flow. So really, really like that. Um, uh, there's a quick summary of all of the positions we've talked about. Um, if you uh, missed any of that, so um, in the uh, in the order that we went through them, I think we may have missed PII. I'll just um, just okay. So I'm just going to go over those again quickly. Those uh, I think I missed these two. Uh, <coughs> if I'm repeating myself, excuse me. But uh, CHTR. Has uh, has topped out. It looks like um, it's uh, obviously it's uh, one we've discussed puts on already. Uh, I still and I think this is now good to go. Uh, it's broken down um, from the top uh, and uh, has just broken this short term trend line. So we may find that uh, that that break is right around the corner. That's the trend line. That's the trend line that uh, are basically coinciding with each other. So um, really, the ideal scenario is going to be. Uh, kind of a break below this 182, 181 level, and that could spell the uh, beginning of a, a sharp decline down to 164. So um, uh, right, just right on that support zone at the moment. And you can see it's just teetering back and forth here. And then the other one was PII, uh, which I'm uh, very glad I didn't sell my puts yesterday as I got tempted to as it hit support. And then I saw just how uh, uh, how the momentum was really kicking in from these moving averages. Uh, that made a new low today, dropping another 2.36%. Um, so uh, uh, rock and roll, that's looking really good uh, that we uh, hold puts in also. So um, that is your executive summary. Uh, of course, the um, uh, two things launching. Um, Tomorrow, we have the big one, 
The big one, of course, is where we are looking for opportunities where there's uh, you know, basically a 30 40%, 50% potential drop uh, in stocks that we are f uh, finding. Um, we are finding them through using a very selected, a very selective scan that, uh, w that we built, which combines fundamentals and technicals to find uh, really over, potentially very overpriced stocks that are set to have big drops. Uh, where, so therefore, there's a potential of making you know 500 to a thousand percent on uh, on uh, 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 options set to expire a few months out, but well out of the money. So you know 25, 30 cent options that we could hopefully sell for say three bucks four bucks um, if that drop were to occur um, in the uh, so the course launches tomorrow and uh, if you are interested in enrolling you still can and uh, it basically covers you for the course where we teach you the scan we teach you how we find the stocks um, the components that go into it why we look for those components all the factors that we feel are facing this economy and where we think the market's going to go and when buy and uh, of course we then take the scan run it live and actually show you the uh, the, the favorite positions that we are taking, uh, that we're buying options in currently. And, uh, and uh, obviously, we then provide you updates um, going forward for the rest of the year uh, and regular classes until the end of December while this uh, big drop play, hopefully plays out. So um, uh, again, you can still enroll. It's acornwealthcorp.com forward slash big one. acornwealthcorp.com forward slash big one. It's uh, 491 US, uh, which is a, a drop in the bucket. I mean, if you have a, if you had uh, a thousand bucks in ADPT, you would have, uh, you would have already paid for the course many times over. And that's just a small taste of the types of stocks we're already finding in this scan. So uh, something you can keep for life and uh, hopefully will be of immense value over these next couple of months. So again, acornwealthcorp.com forward slash big one and um, we will uh, see most of you in trading room take care